Hello everyone and welcome back to Lewis News, your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse once again because the new trailer has got an official release date. It's been coming for a while and we've been talking about it for quite a long time, but it's got an official release date. But before we do get into all of the details and everything you guys need to know, when going into the trailer, I just want to say make sure you're subscribed and make sure to hit the post notification bell next to the subscribe button because you do not want to miss any type of Spider-Man news. We cover everything from the games and movies and the shows and we are going to be breaking down Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse and its trailer. So if you don't want to miss all the different Easter eggs, all the different news regarding the trailer, then make sure you're subscribed to get those videos. But with that being said, let's get straight into the news. So, a new tweet came from the official account for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse stating a new view from the Spider-Verse coming on the 13th of December this year. And if you guys remember yesterday's video, I covered the fact that we got a leaked image from the editing studio where they were showing an image of the trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And I didn't show the image only because I didn't know if I could get copyright striked for showing it. Because similar sort of situations have happened before where creators will show something that has been leaked or something that isn't actually official and then they will get taken down for it. But here is the official image from Across the Spider-Verse's Twitter account. So I can show the image and it's on the screen right now. And this is the one we were talking about yesterday. And this is the image that they posted along with that tweet confirming the trailer coming on the 13th. And once again, just like yesterday, we get a clearer look at what the image is. They're obviously sitting upside down on a ledge. We get a good look at the back of Miles' new suit. Nothing much to say about Gwen, but Miles looks really cool and his suit looks really cool. And obviously the city. And I think this is a really artistic shot as well, like I said in yesterday's video. I think it looks really cool and I can't wait to see some of the visuals in the new trailer. But what can we expect from the new trailer? Expect a lot of Miles and Gwen stuff. Expect a lot of stuff building up that relationship and setting it up for the movie. As we know at some point in the comics, Miles and Gwen do actually get into a relationship there. So expect them to start implementing that source material into Across and Beyond the Spider-Verse. And I do reckon we'll have some sort of inkling of that in the new trailer. There has also been rumors speculating that we will be seeing some different wacky spider Men and women showing up in this trailer as well showcasing some of the new heights that this movie will go to in the spider-verse and i think this will be done to tease us and hype us up about what's to come from the actual film also let's not forget miguel o'hara spider-man 2099 is a big part of this movie as well so expect some stuff from him in this trailer showcasing him and his character and also one last prediction from me, I reckon we'll start to see some of those dominant art styles that Chris Miller was talking about in his interview with Empire Magazine, potentially starting to show off some of the things that this movie will be doing different to the first film. Like I said before, obviously this trailer has got to showcase why this film is different to the first and the new heights that this film will go to to improve upon its predecessor, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Like I said, not just story-wise, but I think this movie will step it up artistically as well. Every shot that we've seen so far from this film has been absolutely outstanding. And as we do know, they are upping the tempo by adding many different art styles into this film, which will obviously be more impressive than the first film was. So all in all, I am really excited for this trailer and to see what kind of things they are going to be introducing and revealing for the movie. If you're excited for the trailer, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, make sure to leave a like on this video because it really helped me out. And also, just to let me know your love for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. But like I said at the start of the video, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have the bell clicked on. So that way you can get all the news as soon as it comes out. And obviously, the trailer's coming out. So I'll be breaking down everything when that trailer does drop. I'll be making multiple videos across the trailer, talking about the Easter eggs, talking about what to expect. And also, just talking about the trailer in general. So make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date with all types of Spider-Man. Spider-Man news that doesn't just go for across the spider-verse although that has been doing the rounds lately We also cover the sony verse. We also cover tasm 3 We also cover the mcu spider-man stuff as well and eventually when new stuff gets dropped We'll be discussing spider-man ps5 as well with that being said that is it for today's video Like I said, make sure you're subscribed make sure to leave a like and tell me what you think in the comment section down below and I'll see you all in the next video Take care and peace